I love testing, says no one ever. So if you are a developer and architect, chances are you don't get super thrilled about uh, unit testing. However, it is a very important part of software development life cycle. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can automate unit testing in your CI CD pipeline. All right, let's get into it. So uh, let's say we changed our Lambda a little bit. Uh, it takes it takes a name of a country and the output is a hello from that country and then I put it uh, in this JSON. Okay, so let's try to run it. So I deployed this code, it's the same code. So if I show you the test events, uh, country USA. So if I run this, it should say hello from USA. So let's click test. Here you go, it says hello from USA. And then the timestamp. If I go up, show you here, same thing. Uh, so if we go and change the country name, let's say India, save. If I test it, it should say hello from India, right? So it changes uh, based on uh, the name of the country passed. Now what if uh, this output, it says hello from and it, and it extracts the field country um, from the input event. But let's say uh, I did not code it right. So the requirement was uh, whenever someone pass a name of the country in the input, you have to say hello from that country. Uh, but instead of that, I just hard coded. I assume that every time the name would be uh, UK or something. Okay, so if I save this and let's deploy this. Okay, so the Lambda is deployed using our beautiful uh, pipeline. Uh, so if I go back to the Lambda console, uh, let's reload the function. Okay, our hard coded uh, code is here. So if I test it now, right? So if I go back USA, um, if I test it, it is gonna say hello from UK, even though it should have said hello from USA. So let's let's put some automated testing in it, shall we? So I will be utilizing build spec file to automate uh, my testing. So I highly recommend uh, reading this uh, LinkedIn article that I post, how to create a Lambda CICD pipeline using AWS code build. I go over how to use build spec file. And um, there's also a YouTube video as part of that uh, material that I go over in steps, uh, how to do uh, build spec file and automate your CI CD pipeline for Lambda deployment. And everything is given in Git. Uh, okay, so uh, let's go back. Okay, we are back to our hard coded Lambda. <laughs> so um, to do automated unit testing, uh, you create a folder called tests. You can name it anything. Uh, I named it tests, and you will uh, soon see uh, how I use the name. And then uh, inside the test folder, I created this uh, Python file, test underscore handler dot py. And this unit test is the library that we are going to use. So if I open the unit testing framework uh, for Python, you can see this unit testing framework was originally inspired by JUnit and has a similar uh, flavor, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but let me, uh, let me tell you how it works, right? So it's, it's not difficult at all. Uh, so what it does is, uh, so it calls our Lambda function. See, we are defining the event as country, let's say USA, okay? And then I'm calling this Lambda underscore function, okay? And then Lambda underscore handler, that's how we call a Lambda. And then I'm passing this event, right? And what I am expecting is hello from event country. And then this assert in is going to see if this hello from uh, event country, which should be hello from USA in this case, exists on the body of the result, right? And it also checks uh, if the uh, status code of the result is 200. So assert equal, right? It has to be like that. There is no in. Um, so another thing it checks is the headers, content type should be application suggestion and the assert in checks that the body has this um, hello from uh, name of the country from the event. So when these things run, and I'm, I'm going to show you in a minute how to make it run in the build spec, 
uh, it's gonna pass the input and you know you can you can do uh, anything here you can say India uh, and then it's gonna check for hello from India right so it's dynamic kind of uh, so let's say USA um, and then it's gonna check if it doesn't find it it's gonna error out and it is not going to deploy uh, the lambda so uh, let's see how you call this test handler from your build spec. So this is your uh, build spec file. Uh, don't, don't worry too much about this stuff. Uh, I'm just testing some other stuff, right? Uh, you can just use the command that I'm gonna show you. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it in build. Uh, you can uh, segregate it using pre-build or whatever. Uh, but at the end of the day, build spec just runs the command. Uh, in the container that the code build spins up. Okay, so now what it does is, so it automatically goes under the test folder, see these tests, and it is gonna discover the test underscore handler. I mean, you can directly run it. Uh, I just copy pasted, um, but you can also run Python minus M, uh, unit test, and then test slash test underscore handler dot py. Uh, every, anything is fine. Okay, so, uh, go back. So remember last time there was no unit testing, right? So our Lambda, even though it was bad, it got implemented. Uh, so now we put this, now let's try to run our pipeline and then we'll see what happens in the code build. Okay, so by this time you guys should know um, how to uh, commit the changes. Included automated unit test. Okay, I'm just gonna push it. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, I'm, I am using Cloud9, I love Cloud9. Um, Cloud9 is a uh, IDE that runs on the cloud in AWS. I don't have to worry about what machine I log in with. So this is my personal desktop. Uh, but even if I log into my AWS account uh, using um, my personal AWS account from my work laptop, I, I have all my codes and everything. Okay, so uh, now I pushed it. So let's go back to our pipeline. Okay, so the build is running. Uh, that's what we want. So let's click details. So in build, as you guys know, build spec, that YAML file is gonna run, which we have our unit test. Okay, so this is running it. Okay, see. Uh, hello from USA, not found in hello from UK. So it failed it, right? So now what's gonna happen is, so this code did not get deployed, right? Uh, because the unit testing failed. So if you are a developer, you are like, oh shoot, I just hard coded the name of the country. Uh, so let me go back and I'm gonna put back, I'm gonna, I'm gonna code it the proper way which is, and how about we put a uh, couple more uh, testing as well. How about we copy this and then we put India as well. Okay, now it should test that as well. So it's gonna call the Lambda twice, right? And passing the event. Okay, everything is saved. Uh, so let's commit our changes. Okay, so let's see if it passes this time. Okay, this is building. So let's go to details. Okay, did the pip install AWS CLI. Running command, okay, testing response. Country USA, output hello from USA. So it's good, so country India, output hello from India. Uh, it found uh, those stuff and it passed. There is no um, loud red color. So you can see this passed. So let's go back to the pipelines. Okay, the pipeline ran. Here we go. Now the good code is here uh, because the unit testing passed. So please note, even though uh, I am using this in my build spec file, you don't have to use build spec file. If you have a Jenkins pipeline, uh, which lets you run your bash commands uh, during the pipeline, you could do that, right? Uh, so all we did was created this Python file, um, which just calls your uh, code 
and then it just checks if the output has certain things. And then the command is just this, python minus m unit test, uh, discover tests, right? So if you want to run it from your Jenkins script or any other script or even manually, right? If, if, if push comes to shove, you could do all that. Again, I will upload this in the Git and uh, put the link in the description of this video. All right, guys, that is the video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.